Welcome to this juicy conversation all about pivoting while you launch and creating visibility peace within life, love, and leadership. I felt so called (laughs) to speak to you about this because I feel like so often when you're going through a launch, it can feel like, oh my gosh, I got to stick to the plan and I got to stay on track and I got to make sure that no one knows what's actually going on behind the scenes so that I can like uphold this image, right? And I believe that it's actually so liberating to peel back the curtain and to let your audience, let your community see your process as you're moving through it and to give yourself permission to be unapologetic in the different moves that you make, to be unapologetic in the way that you allow yourself to flow, to express, to be witnessed as you are showing up in your business. And I want to start off by telling you a bit of a story because I want to share with you how I've been moving through life. And if you've been here for a while, you know that I've talked about how for, oh gosh, it's been (laughs) several months now. I believe it's been since, well, the end of December or sorry, September. So almost like, I guess, eight months coming up to eight months of moving through this like really big process in my business, really connecting to where it is that I am being invited into. And I went through a massive dark night of the soul from the end of September until the end of February, where it felt like everything that I had known to be true was crumbling. And there was this massive invitation to get really honest with myself about who I wanted to be in life, who I desired to become. And, you know, having already been a coach for over six years, I've I've witnessed my business go through many peaks and valleys, many ebbs and flows, many different seasons. And I really feel as though this particular chapter has been one of being deeply, deeply invited into what it is that I'm here to do on a soul level. And so it was really interesting because as I had gone through this process of questioning, what is it that I actually want to do? How do I want to show up? How do I want to market? How do I want to support people? Who are my ideal clients now? Like all of these questions, you know, I'd really come to this understanding. I think it was like a couple months ago now where I was like, okay, what I am here to do is so much bigger than what I have been doing. And I had made this like energetic cord cutting from the ecosystem of the coaching industry. And what I mean by that is this entanglement of how you should market, how you should talk, what you should say, what you should say, what the trends are that you should follow, like all of this conditioning that again, I had been really wrapped up within for so many years having been in business. And it was interesting because, you know, I had built the, the multiple six figure brand and I was seeing so much success and had created so much success. But when I was really honest with myself, I was feeling these Oh, these deeper sensations and these deeper feelings of urgency and pressure and feeling like I was trying to keep up with something. You know that saying, like trying to keep up with the Joneses? It felt very much of that, that breath. It felt like I was, I was only really in allowing like a part of me to be in my business. And this is just isn't sustainable, right? And and what I've I saw within myself, and I'm gonna get into some pieces around this throughout this conversation in terms of ways that I've supported my clients through very similar things. But what I really noticed was that there was this deep feeling of struggling to see myself. And I was also struggling to feel peace and being seen and being really truly seen in the fullness of who I am. And I feel like so many people 
really in they they experience waves of this where it's like you you try to be like somebody else or you try to keep up with trends or you try to you know do the things that other people are doing that seem to work meanwhile behind the scenes you don't feel peace in your body you're not feeling truly like truly peaceful in what it means to be seen as in your greatness in who you are right and so anyways, I had gone through this big process and what I realized yesterday, well, it was actually about two days ago, I was recognizing that I'm, I'm moving into this astrological chapter of my experience where my life's work, my soul work is radically shifting and I am actually being deep, like deeply invited to claim what it is that life wants to create through me. And it's scary because although there are definitely elements of it that are of the same thread of what I've already been doing because so much of my work for the past, you know, six years has been rooted in embodiment and soul soul work and intuitive coaching and, and somatic healing and mindset and all these different things. But there's a deepening happening and there's a, an invitation for me to allow these Mm, this new chapter to like unfold and and follow the mystery and to play in the mystery of it all. And so anyways, I was I was, you know, acknowledging this and I was feeling into this this sensation in my body that was really alive yesterday morning and I was being really curious and I was asking my body, you know, what what is this? What is this frustration? What is this feeling that I'm 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 experiencing within my sacral, this contracted energy? What's going on? And as I started to go deeper into this process, I acknowledged that I had kind of fallen back into trying to do things the way that I had done them before. And what I mean by this is so, so much of my business, I've worked specifically with entrepreneurs and I've, I've specifically marketed through the lens of business. And as I was feeling into this this frustration, this contraction in my body yesterday morning, I realized, oh my gosh, I kind of started doing that again. And why this was frustrating is because so much of the work that I actually do with people, even the clients, because again, most of the people I work with are entrepreneurs, is related to who they're being in their life, who they're being in relationship, who they're being in love, who they're being in their leadership. It's really about the identity that they hold. It's about who they're being inside of life, who they're being in relationship with life. And it was interesting because I started to recognize like where I had, again, kind of fallen back into specifically marketing to things through this lens of business, when in actuality, that's only like a fraction of what it is that I even do with people. Most of my clients that I work with, half the time, we're not even talking about business. We're not even talking about their leadership even. We're talking about who they're being in life, who they're being in business, who they're being in leadership. But it's so much deeper than what is on the surface of what's going on in their business. And so I was feeling into this and I was like, okay, interesting. Where can I allow that piece to be awakened more in my new group coaching program emboldened? Because I was feeling into where it was in even my messaging that I, again, was still heavily marketing to business when what I'm really here to do is to support people in becoming the version of themselves that can hold the fullness of their deeper vision to really cultivate this satisfaction and fulfillment and harmony within who they're being in relationship with life within their relationships, whether that be professionally or personally. 
within their leadership because who you're being influences every single thing that you do. The identity that you hold impacts and creates your entire reality. And this is so important to know because whatever is outside of your current identity and your identity is your unconscious, subconscious programming and your nervous system capacity, right? Your identity is this internal orientation within all of life and anything that's outside of the current identity that you hold your body and your mind views as a threat and and this is where people typically end up self-sabotaging they fall into patterns they they behave in ways that you know they don't actually want to be participating in because again that identity that they're holding on that unconscious level within their nervous system again, is viewing anything that's outside of that current identity as a threat. And so why the work that I do with people is life-changing is because when you change your identity, when you change your unconscious beliefs, when you change the way that your nervous system is oriented, when you learn how to self-regulate, when you expand your window of tolerance, when you allow yourself, right? When you allow yourself to radically shift the way that you are being, you change your life. And that is what emboldened is rooted in, is you upgrading your identity so that you feel visibility, peace within your relationship to life, love, and leadership. And so I I was like, okay, beautiful. How can I meet my visibility edge in pivoting while I'm launching and show people in real time these shifts that I'm making to this program? Because one of the worst things that you can do is not follow the truth of your soul to withhold taking action in a different way because you're afraid of how other people are going to perceive you. It is a fast way ticket to feeling unfulfilled when you participate in those kinds of behaviors. And so I was like, yes, this is beautiful. Embolden is actually launching within me right now. And I'm going to give myself full permission to pivot the messaging of this program to be in complete integrity and in complete alignment with what it is that I am actually here doing in the world. And this was a really exciting thing because I recognized that in doing so, I'm also showcasing that you get to change, you get to evolve, you get to shift, you get to flow unapologetically and that your business gets to grow with you, right? Or the relationships you have get to grow with you. Life gets to grow with you. Life is responding to you. Relationship is responding to you. Leadership is responding to you. And so when you allow yourself to create visibility peace in these shifts, in allowing yourself to take up space, to speak your truth, to be seen, it changes your life. And it is absolutely important that you give yourself permission to experiment and to pivot as you move through life. Because if you are somebody who is a spiritual seeker, a creative, an entrepreneur, a leader, a visionary, you are going to notice that you are rapidly shifting and evolving in ways that some days you wake up and you look in the mirror and you're like, holy shit, who am I? Because your soul evolution is leading the way. And so when you're allowing, when you allow your human self to get on board with where your soul is guiding you to, you can trust that you will be led to the perfect places at the perfect time, even if challenge arises in the process, right? And so perhaps you're wondering, okay, so Rachel, what does it mean to cultivate visibility peace within my life, within love, within leadership? And I want to give you some examples of some of the ways that this has actually really played out for people that I've worked with recently. 
Um, I'm not going to be able to give you every single example, but I'll give you a few examples to really start to show you what is possible. So one of the ways that visibility piece really supported one of my clients was she was noticing that she was having all of this success in business, but then when she was taking a look at her personal relationships, she noticed a lot of insecurity. She noticed that when she was being intimate with her partner, she oftentimes felt very disassociated from her body. She didn't want to be seen. She noticed a a lot of withholding in expressing her needs in relationship. And she was noticing that there was a lot of friction in this these personal realms of her reality. I just need to dig a little drink of water there. And so as she was coming to me with this, we started to deepen what it meant for her to feel seen within her body through different embodiment practices. We did some hypnotherapy, somatic healing, and we started to really shift the unconscious belief systems that she was holding around what it meant to be seen intimately and vulnerably vulnerably in her intimate partnerships and relationships. We started to create a deepening in her capacity to trust herself within these dynamics. And we really worked directly with her nervous system and expanding her tolerance to be able to hold the different edgy conversations that can happen when you start to ask for what you need in relationship and in partnership. And one of the most beautiful things that she mentioned to me, she sent me a message and she said, Rachel, I can't believe it. My SEX life has drastically improved. I feel so connected while I'm being intimate. I can look at my partner's in my, into my partner's eyes. I feel so seen. I feel so confident in who I am. And <clears throat> she was really expressing this liberation within her expression. And it, and it came from this ability to upgrade her identity, to be able to become the type of woman who saw herself as a goddess, as someone who is vibrant, who is deserving of being deeply seen, witnessed, held, and and supported in intimacy, in partnership. Another example is I had one of my clients who was really struggling with allowing herself to speak into the depth of who she was online. She was finding herself in situations where she was really deep, uh, dampening rather, the, the greatness of her work, she was feeling really afraid of being received poorly and having people think that she was full of herself, having people judge her. And even though she was creating success in business already, she was wanting to expand her vision. She was wanting to take her impact even bigger, wider, and create this beautiful global movement for women. And she was noticing that her current identity beliefs were not supportive of that. She was finding herself, you know, kind of ghosting aspects of her business, avoiding talking about certain subject matters out of the fear of people judging her in her DMs or in her comment section. And she recognized that in order for her to welcome in the bigger vision that she had, she had to learn how to create visibility piece in not only being seen by people that love her, but also being seen by people that maybe don't actually get her or like her. And so we worked really closely with her nervous system. We worked with in the realms of somatic healing and subconscious healing. We created opportunities for her identity to radically shift through embodiment work. And in this process, she started to allow herself to open and soften into what it meant for her to actually be seen. And it started with her seeing herself recognizing that she could actually trust herself to be able to handle the wide range of experiences and sensations that come with being deeply seen on a global level. And through that deepening of her self-trust, through her ability to start to recognize that she had her own back no matter what, 
She started to speak more confidently. She started to show up on camera more confidently. She raised her prices. She started to set firmer boundaries and standards within her relationships with clients and her team. She raised her standards to actually hold this bigger vision. And she was able to go from feeling this retraction from what it is that she actually wanted because again, her previous identity was was really sensing this bigger vision as a threat to her safety, she actually opened and softened and welcomed in the ability to deeply be witnessed through cultivating visibility peace. And this woman went from all of these, you know, these, these challenges in feeling these, this wounding around being accepted to literally making $75,000 in three months, gaining 6,000 followers in two weeks, selling out her one-on-one coaching and allowing herself to create this movement, this beautiful brand that had been on her heart for many years to create. Another client of mine, she was really sensing that she, she had been in this experience of not really letting herself become the new version of who she wanted to be. You know, she had created a lot of success in her previous business model. She, you know, was very used to marketing in a specific way. She was very used to showing up from a a very strategy-based lens. And as she started to change course and started to soften into what it is that she really wanted to be doing and wanted to go more into the life coaching realm, more into allowing people to have this coaching with her um, through, you know, more of like the energetics of their business, she noticed that she was meeting so much resistance and she was avoiding launching. She was avoiding showing up on camera. She was avoiding all of the things that she knew that were going to be really supportive for her to scale her business in this new way because she was afraid that she would not be received well. And she was holding this unconscious belief that she didn't know what to talk about, that people didn't really, that she didn't provide any value, that people wouldn't get her. And so she came to me after working with several strategy-based coaches, and we were able to do really beautiful, deep work working directly with her unconscious belief systems, directly with her embodiment. And we started to create a new identity that really encapsulated the fullness of who she's here to be in the world. And we did a lot of uh, coaching in Voxer around her unconscious mind. We worked directly with embodiment. I gave her many, many tools to actually process the intense sensations that were coming up in her body because her nervous system was getting really dysregulated every time she was going to show up on video, every time she was going to create something to launch, she was being sent into dysregulation. And so through working directly with her body and creating harmony within her body, creating harmony within her mind, learning how to create more of a capacity for these sensations, learning how to regulate her body and her mind, she was able to have a $40,000 launch and she's fucking killing it. So these are just some examples of different ways that creating visibility peace are going to radically shift your life. And so I really believe that when we're talking about visibility piece, we're not just talking about visibility piece in your business. We're talking about visibility piece in your personal life, when you're intimate, in your partnership, in your relationships, in your friendships, in how you allow yourself to show up in your life, how you allow yourself to be witnessed in life, where you allow yourself to go in life. Visibility piece is truly about you stepping into the fullness of who you are. It's about cultivating inner security within who you are, harmony within who you are, so that you no longer withhold owning your greatness, so that you liberate your expression and you increase your capacity to be seen in life, so that you can open up new doors, so that you can step into the life that you know you're here to live, the freedom you know you're here to have, the delicious relationships you know you're here to have, whether that be with your intimate partner or whether that be within your platonic friendships, right? I know for me personally, the intimacy I have with my husband, the depth of vulnerability within my friendships astronomically increased and changed the moment I started to prioritize visibility peace. It allowed me to allow myself to be deeply witnessed 
while being intimate and not withholding my expression. It allowed me to really create such juicy vulnerability within my friendships, to deepen those friendships, to allow myself to grow alongside these friendships after years and years and years of being bullied and being afraid to let people in. Visibility peace is literally life-changing because when you feel peace in your body, when you feel peace in your mind, when it comes to being seen, when it comes to expressing yourself, your entire life changes. Imagine the boldness of that for you. Imagine what's possible for you on the other side of allowing yourself to know with a full body fuck yes that you have your own back where you no longer are attached to the projections of other people where your business is no longer in control of your emotional states where you know that the greatness of your work is no longer defined by how much money you make where you trust yourself to ask for what you need where you let yourself really fucking shine in life where you take bold action, where you move with conviction, where you are courageous in how you lead. Imagine what's possible for you on the other side of that visibility piece, because I can promise you right now that where it is that you desire to go next is going to ask that you move differently. It is going to ask that you expand your visibility capacity to be seen. And that looks like your capacity to be seen within different aspects of your life. Maybe that looks like something within your family dynamics for you. Maybe that looks like allowing yourself to finally feel secure in taking a fucking dance class. Maybe that looks like creating visibility, peace, and love. Maybe there's a really difficult conversation that you've needed to have with your partner and you've been withholding having that conversation because it doesn't you don't feel safe in being visible within it. Maybe creating visibility piece looks like allowing yourself to be loved again. Maybe that looks like allowing yourself to date. Maybe that looks like being more vocal about your needs in relationship. Maybe visibility piece for you looks like showing up and being bold in your self-expression in your business. Maybe that looks like being able to set firmer boundaries with clients so that you can feel more capacity, more of a capacity to let people in. Maybe visibility piece for you looks like raising your standards for what you know you're here for when it comes to big money and big impact. Maybe visibility piece looks like allowing yourself to really talk about what the fuck you want to talk about online without looking over your shoulder and worrying about being canceled or called out every time you speak your truth. Visibility piece is life-changing. It is truly the foundation of creating a sustainable, lasting business that is rooted in longevity. And the cost of not prioritizing visibility piece is your fucking harmony within yourself. The cost of not prioritizing visibility piece is literally suffocating your brilliance and who it is that you're here to be. It's waking up one day years and years and years from now and realize that you only let yourself live a fraction of the way that you knew you wanted to because you were too afraid to be seen and let others see you. The definition of visibility is to be seen and to see. So where can you let yourself see yourself more? How can you let other people see you more? Not just in the ways in which people will love what you have to say or who you are, but also in the situations where people may not like what you have to say. People may not like who you are. People may not accept you. Can you create visibility piece in those situations as well? This is about you expanding your capacity to create internal harmony within your life, within your leadership, within love, so that you can truly live in fulfillment and and satisfaction within every inch of what you know you're here to experience and who you're here to be. And the thing is, is why I'm so passionate about Embolden is because it is very different than most group coaching programs because we focus on embodiment, because we focus on somatic healing, because we focus working directly with your identity and upgrading those unconscious belief systems, getting clear on what your subconscious programming actually is and clearing and and really giving yourself the opportunity to radically change who it is that you're being in your life. We work directly with your nervous system and we look at healing as a roadmap to returning to wholeness. So Embolden isn't just another group program where 
I'm going to be just talking at you. We're going to be moving things together. We're going to be working directly with your body. You're going to receive high touch, high level, high level laser focused coaching. You're going to witness other people be coached in a high capacity. This program is the, the it encapsulates the embodiment of all it is that I, I do in the world. And I'm so excited to invite you inside because I truly believe that you creating visibility peace in life, leadership, and in love is going to change your life. There is a reason why I have heaps of testimonials from my clients that say that this work is life-changing. And it's because of who you become in the process. You are the medicine that you seek. And when you work directly with your identity, again, your identity meaning your unconscious belief systems and your nervous system, you get to change your life. You get to become the type of person who knows themselves, trusts themselves, and owns their greatness. And so I'm so excited to invite you inside in Bolden. You can head to my bio or if you're listening to this on my podcast, go click the link in the show notes. I am so excited to deeply support you and rise alongside you in Embolden, where we get to rise eye to eye, heart to heart, soul to soul, where you get to show yourself what life really gets to look like and feel like when you feel peace in your body, in your mind, and in your spirit and being deeply seen. Thank you so much for listening to this, for tuning in. I appreciate you. It means the world to me to share this space with you, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.